when you're thinking about doing something that maybe you've never done before, do you ever get stuck in analysis paralysis or overthinking? Well, oh my goodness, how I have suffered from this for so long. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how that I've overcome a lot of my analysis paralysis and overthinking. Welcome to day 46 of my 90 day self-awareness challenge. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Chavez and I'm currently on a 90 day live video challenge where I go live every day with things that I'm self-aware about. I'm here in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. It's a beautiful day out here today. Just got done going on a nice hike. Let me know where in the world that you're tuning in from. If you are familiar with my videos, you know I like to share why I'm sharing the video topic that I'm discussing and today's no different. I actually was thinking about how difficult it actually is to push the go live button, right? Uh, I remember back to 2016 when I first started going live, when Facebook Lives first came out and I saw people doing videos, I really, really wanted to go live. Like I had a lot of thoughts, I had a lot of ideas, I had a lot of things that I wanted to share. But every time that I would try to push the live button, I would start overthinking and I would get paralysis from over analysis, right? And so the daily habits of me going live every day is, is it's kind of like a muscle that I get to work every day in my mind, right? So one of the things that I do struggle with from time to time that I used to struggle with a lot when I first started going live is, what am I going to talk about? Um, you know, what are they going to think? Like all these things. And so what I've learned over time is that when you overanalyze things or you overthink things, for me personally, it's be because of a lack of confidence. I've heard before many, many times that successful people make decisions quickly and take their time to change their mind. Again, successful people make decisions quickly and take their time to change their mind. And the reason why is because most successful people are confident. So um, uh, back to using the analogy of going live and overthinking about going live, we all know what that is like, right? If you've heard the videos, you know. Well, the more that I did it and the more that I started going live every day, the more confident I got. And what I learned was I didn't have to second guess myself anymore, okay? So when you make a decision and you're confident in yourself, you know that regardless of what happens, you're gonna be able to deal with it. I think one of the reasons that keeps us from making decisions and taking action on things in our analysis paralysis is the fear of how things are gonna turn out. Well, guess what? The only way that you are ever going to know how things are going to work out is if you take action. And that's where the learning comes from. That's where the growth comes from. It's the uncomfortable action, the unperfect action. And that's why live videos are so truly, truly amazing. You know, we're not supposed to have all the answers. There's got to be some mystery, right? There's got to be some sort of mystery. There's got to be some sort of questions that are unanswered. and you know, making, putting yourself out there, uh, making yourself vulnerable is where the growth happens. So if you're ever overthinking anything, if you get stuck in analysis paralysis in the future, start asking yourself, well, what am I unconfident about? Why am I second guessing myself? Hey, listen, we've all been there and we've all had these thoughts about, well, is it going to be good enough? Am I going to be good enough? What are they going to think? And I, I was just thinking about it earlier. When we second guess ourselves, or we get an analysis paralysis, we never think about anything positive. The analysis paralysis and second guessing ourselves, almost 99.9% .9 of the time is a negative thought. So catch yourself and have that awareness to know, well, hey, listen, if I do do this, I'm gonna grow. If I do do this, I'll have some of the answers that I'm seeking, right? So think of a positive thought when you get stuck in analysis paralysis, or you can't pull the trigger, or you can't push the go live button. 
Just think of all of the amazing things that you're going to learn and that are going to come out of you taking uncomfortable action. Hey, listen, analysis paralysis can be a killer when it comes to your personal and professional growth. And it's all about you having the awareness and having that mental switch in your mind to think of something positive. How is it going to work out? I don't know. Well, I'll never know how it's going to work out unless I take that uncomfortable action. If you want to learn more about doing this type of exercise where you can take uncomfortable action on a daily basis, check out our 90 day self awareness challenge. Uh, I can get you some information. If you're seeing this video in our private community live masters, put a hashtag live masters down in the comments for me. And if you're new to my broadcast, put a new down below because I am showing these on the replay on my personal page. Analysis paralysis can literally stop you dead in your tracks. Don't become a victim of that. Be confident in yourself because if you get a thought, you get an idea, it's inspired by your soul and you wouldn't get it if you weren't supposed to use it. All right, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless each and every single one of you. When you give your eyeballs and your ears to me, I'm humbled and blessed. You've decided to give me the most important thing you have, and that's your injury. Thanks, folks. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye, everybody.